Hi Aries, it's Tuesday. Then we're going to do your love reading. This is for um, Aries Sun Moon <laughs> Rising and Venus. It is general, of course, so it cannot resonate for everyone. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, thank you for visiting my channel. If you are new, welcome. I do give away free readings randomly to subscribers just chosen through the comments. Hmm, interesting. I feel like you guys um, let go of something and healed. It was good. Let's see. Um, okay, what else do I need to say? Roles can be reversed. They can intermingle and flip flop around. So if I and, it, and it's not gender specific. So if I say he she, just ignore me. One more, and we will get started. <clears throat> okay, your energy options maybe. Mm, too much thinking. <clears throat> I think we're going to get a lot of swords. Um, waiting for your opportunity. So Aries, I, I already feel like you guys are in your power. Um, but something's shaking it a little bit. Wow. Ten of Cups. So, Ten of Cups is about total wish fulfillment. Okay, so, but we've got Five of Cups. So, it looks like it spilled. The Ten of Cups fell apart. Let's look at their energy. Page of Pentacles. Communication coming in. Something stable. Maybe they're about to communicate that to you. Oh, progress. Yeah. So, somebody did you wrong, really wrong, and I think... It was really a lot of work for you to um, either let that go or hold your ground. Um, and, and there's been a whole lot of waiting. Wow. This is also their energy. Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, giving. It looks like they are about to communicate that to you. Let's look at the recent past. Nine of Swords, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Justice, Libra. Um, you know, the, the Justice card is all about fairness. The scales being balanced. Page of Swords. Page of Swords is about... Um, you know, again, communication, but it's also kind of like the spy. We think of this as the spy guy, you know, maybe checking you out or you checking them out on social media. And maybe that's something you had to let go of. Maybe that was driving you nuts a little bit, watching and waiting and observing. But I think if that is the case, it just caused you more confusion. It didn't help at all. Wow, Libra energy again, the Empress. Okay, uh, very clear. I, it's what I was already saying. You guys have been through a whole lot with this person. They did not do, they were not good to you. They did something, okay? You ha ended up having to hold your ground, even though it was very hard. It looks like this person is coming back. They want to offer, start again. They want to communicate this to you. They want it to be more stable. They want an equal give and take because it was not equal before. You were doing all the giving or giving more. And remember, you never want to give. Um, you never want to set the tone. You know, Aries are very generous and action oriented, but you still, you never want to set the tone to where you give more than it needs to be equal give and take not unbalanced be that sets the tone wrong right it looks like this person is going to communicate they want to move forward they want to collaborate they want progress they want to put the past behind them they want to do things right now um mm, let's keep going queen of swords queen of swords is about cutting something out 
um, or it also can be, she's very direct, you know, she's very direct, she's all about the truth, and she's not going to tolerate, you know, partial truths, or half truths, or not truths, um, I, I think you guys, wow, Hierophant and the outcome, uh, I mean, there could be a wife that's be there's separation from going to be separation from, but but that's not the strong energy here. We do have some strong marriage energy, but the the main energy is you've been through the ringer um, with someone, and you have given and given and given, and you hung in there and hung in there and hung in there, and you're supposed to be in your power now, right? Um, but it feels like it's a little shaky. See, you've been through, you just you know, hold, held on and held on and held on, um, wanting stability. Um, but I think what this is saying is something did happen to where you let it go. You, you know, de somehow, you know, wanted to hold your value and I don't want to say demanded your value, but that I don't think that's, that's a little bit strong. Um, but basically didn't decided I'm not going to stay in a place where I'm not where I'm undervalued right because you waited and waited and the all the energy that you put into something and this some for some of you this is probably work and pentacles okay um but whatever you put in a lot of energy and it's not paid off this is turning around now okay there's a strong energy here about this is turning around in your favor. Um, let's do some clarifiers. I, I strongly feel like if you guys are in a position where you're like at the point of wanting to um, give up because you've had some challenging energies, there's an energy here about watch watch your thoughts. You don't let go of the you know there's a strong law of attraction energy here don't let go don't let this beat you don't stop taking action because it's a, it's coming your reward is coming oh my gosh look law of attraction manifesting you know that you can manifest um and there's the wheel of fortune divine timing something is moving towards you in your favor okay so strong and so if you're at that point where you're like I don't, you know I can't do this anymore or I feel like I have to give up I can't it's turning around now if you have left someone and you know you I'm never gonna say let someone come back in that doesn't treat you right I'm never gonna say that or the cards are never gonna tell you that so keep doing what you're doing if that person is coming back it looks like they're coming back stable and and, but don't jump in and, and take too much action at that point. You know, do be the high priestess. So sit back, watch, observe, and see what they do. You don't want to be the one taking action if it, in, if this is applying to you in a relationship. Okay, um, you're you're the high priestess. She's she's you know sits back and watches. This is waiting, watching. Okay, um, she observes, and she's kind of aloof about it. She's like, yeah, I'll just let this all play out, and I'll just see, you know, what's going on. I feel like that's the energy you guys need to take. Okay, let's see if we can get some clarifiers. But this does look, whatever you've been working so hard on, whether it's your the relationship, something that you felt like was about to be over or not coming through, it's coming through. You're on the tip of it. There is some divine timing at play. Temperance. That's all about patience. Patience. That's right. Be patient. This is coming. It's coming. I promise. The Empress. We have that twice. Staying in your power. Holding your value. Not lowering your value. Okay, or letting anyone else look this major arcana Libra energy again. Wow. The fool. Wow. The fool is somebody who lets go of all the baggage and can jump off that cliff. Um, and or it also represents a new beginning. Also Aries. We have Sagittarius. We have Taurus Virgo. 
Um, Capricorn. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh my gosh, Leo. The Sun. Wow, all major arcana right in a row. The Sun. Happiness is coming. A new beginning. Don't give up. Be patient. Hang in there. Be, hold on to your value because something new, It's you're going to have a new beginning. It's going to bring happiness and a lot of love. Okay? I don't know that we need to keep going. I'm going to do, let's do some charms. I just got these and I love them. The only thing is I haven't figured out how to make them focus um, in the camera yet. But let's just pull a couple of these and then we'll do the bowl. Stay optimistic. Oh, there, look. Let's see if we... Sagittarius energy. So stay optimistic. There could be Sagittarius involved. This is, does this not sum up everything we just went through? You don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. Stay optimistic. Be careful of your thoughts. Monitor your thoughts. Um, strong law of attraction energy here. Capricorn. Ambitious. Okay, let's do the other one. All right. You can hear my wind chimes in the background uh, and the garbage truck. <laughs> All right. Oh, I love it. This one says, I choose strength. Oh, my camera's focusing too. I choose strength. Nice. <laughs> okay, this is the first time I'm using these, so bear with me. It's hilarious. I'm going to let you guys read that yourselves. Uh, keep calm and kill zombies. <laughs> okay, not sure how that applies. Um, we're all mad here. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Okay, some of you may be thinking you're losing your mind, <laughs> but you're not. All right, a lot of us are going through weird stuff. Okay, let's see. Make a wish, make a wish, make a wish. Don't stop manifesting, okay? Live, laugh, and love. Stay positive. Here we go. She believed she could. So she did. I gotta get better at focusing these. Love it. Um, follow your heart. Don't give up, guys. I'm telling you, strong, positive reading here. Whatever, I know I'm repeating myself. Whatever you've been manifesting and it's coming, don't stop manifesting. Don't stop doing what you're doing. If somebody's returning to your life, if this is about love, they are returning and they want to return stable. You don't want to mess that up by jumping in and, and giving them, like, make it like you're starting to date again. They have to prove themselves like it's a first date again, you know? Don't dive in and, and give. You know, you're sit back, be aloof, watch them impress you, watch them earn you back. Okay. All right. Love you guys. Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys soon. Bye Aries.